Welcome to Healing Temple Mew Channel and welcome to Mew Yoga. I'm going to create the posture called the Great Rejuvenator, which is assigned to the sea urchin sigil of Mew. And so beginning with the supine forelimb support posture, and you will have been spending the last 10 minutes or so relaxing and releasing into this posture. Arms slightly bent at the elbows, soles of the feet pressing down into the ground, which has the effect of raising the tailbone off the ground slightly, and the front of the groin is floating up towards the sky, legs and feet active, the rest of the body nice and relaxed, breathing in, breathing out and relaxing. Moving with the out breath. First, the right knee goes towards the chest. Breathing in, breathing out, and relaxing, feeling the weight of the leg pressing down onto the ground. Breathing in when you feel comfortable. Moving with the out breath. Left knee joins the right knee. Relaxing the toes, and relaxing the ankles, feeling the weight of the legs pressing down on the, the coccyx, the tailbone. And feeling the lower lumbar region relaxing, spreading over the ground like butter. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face and the lower jaw. Breathing in, breathing out, and floating the feet up towards the sky. And as you float them up towards the sky, just um, put a bit of space between the big toes, about hip width apart, so the legs are hip width apart. Keeping the legs bent at the knees, feeling the weight of the legs pressing down onto the tailbone and relaxing the ball and socket joints as you feel the legs spreading the lower lumbar region releasing relaxing floating the hands up towards the sky moving with the out breath breathe in breathe out and relax Weight of forearms pressing down on elbows, relaxing the shoulders, breathing in, breathing out and relaxing, relaxing the face and the lower jaw, stretching the back of the neck slightly, tin, chin tucked slightly in, and then floating the hands up towards the sky with the out breath. Keeping the arms bent at the elbows. Everything's bent in new yoga. <laughs> and feel the weight of the arms spreading the backs of the shoulders and the shoulder blades out like butter. The muscles of the lower abdomen are active. But everything else is relaxing and releasing with the out breath. This is very good for the heart. It's a bit like the half corpse posture, but if you've got chronic heart problems, be very careful and don't maintain the posture for too long. Very good for the circulation, for the bhyana, which is the prana which circulates to the extremities of the body. Breathing in, breathing out and relaxing, and just allowing the weight of the arms and the legs to s spread the back, the whole of the torso, the back of the torso out like butter over the ground. Breathing in, 
and bringing the legs down, floating the feet down towards the ground. And just keeping some space between the soles of the feet and the ground. And when you're ready with the out breath, just going to float the elbows down towards the ground, allowing them to sink. Arms sink down towards the ground. Breathe in, breathe out and relax. The great rejuvenator. You can visualize the sigil of the sea urchin. I don't know why it's called the sea urchin, because it doesn't, doesn't look like anything like a sea urchin, but still, there you go. Breathe out the arms, legs, uh, and just roll onto the left hand side of your body with the out breath. Breathe in, breathe out, and relax. Breathe in, breathe out, and come up, bringing your head up last of all, keeping your chin tucked into the chest. The sea urchin. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.